Hi, and welcome to a project which I've been working on for the last couple of days, which employs two Raspberry Pis, both of which are headless. One is running inside a recent acquisition, which is a Pi Sound uh, box. This has uh, a Pi Sound audio interface and MIDI interface on it. And the output of that is connected to um, a battery operated amplifier here. Uh, that's got a Pi 3 in it. On this side, we've got uh, an old Pi 2, which has got um, a Raspbio inspiring ring on it. And uh, as you can see at the bottom, it's got um, a Wi Fi dongle in it. And it's connected to the Pi Sound box, which actually has software in it to, so that it works as an access point. Um, the whole thing actually sets itself up automatically on switch on, but it takes rather a long time. And I will add at the end of the video um, a truncated time sequence showing how it's set up. But uh, once it's set up, I've arranged things so that the Pi sound is running a headless version of Sonic Pi. And I can feed in, um, uh, code into that to be played using the Sonic Pi CLI command. And it also um, is running, uh, because it's got Sonic Pi 3 in it, it can send OSC commands, which are sent via the Wi-Fi link between these two, and they're picked up by an OSC server, which is running on the uh, Pi 2 on the right-hand side, and that uh, decodes the OSC messages and lights up the LEDs in synchronism with the music. So first of all, we'll start it playing. And to do that, I use the button on the Pi sound, which has actually got three functions, uh, four functions, in fact, depending on how you press it. If I give one single press, I program this so that it will play uh, the Sonic Pi uh, code. Here we go. And I'm going to put a diffuser in front so it'll make it a bit easier to see the LEDs, I think. So all of this is being programmed from Sonic Pi, running on the Pi sound. Without a bit. Different brightnesses, the, the brighter the bulb, the louder the sound. And there it stops. We can start the sequence again by pressing the button. This time, if I don't want it to run all the way through, I give two clicks on the button and that will stop it and reset the LEDs. So that's two separate functions we've got. A triple press on this will switch on and off the access point. Well, I don't want to switch it off again because it'll uh, that will then lose its um, IP connection. But when you have finished playing, you can shut the whole thing down by pressing and letting go of this. That will shut down the Pi sound, but before it does so, it runs a little Sonic Pi program that sends two OSC commands to the server on the second um, Pi, and that um, is interpreted and causes that to shut down too. So I can shut everything down by pressing this, and if you watch the um, the LEDs on the right hand side, you'll see a flash from one of the LEDs to signify that it's received the signal before it starts to shut down. So I press, and when I let go, it will shut down. There's the flash, and the right hand machine is shutting down, the left hand machine is shutting down, and um, you'll see that the Wi Fi indicator has gone out on the right hand machine. This one, the LED has stopped. Uh, flashing now is no activity and so we can switch things off and disconnect them in the normal way. Pulling that out there and pulling out the connector there. So thank you for watching this bit and I will add on at the end of it a sequence showing how the whole thing is set up in the first place. Here's the second part of the video showing how everything is set up in the first place without any keyboards or screens, totally headless. I'm first of all going to plug in the Pi Sound power supply, which I'll do now, and at the same time I'm going to start a clock running 
on the um, iPad underneath. So let's get that ready to plug in. Get ready, go. And start that clock running. Now it takes quite a long time to boot up because once it's booted the Pi sound, it has to boot Sonic Pi 3. And that takes uh, about getting on for a minute to boot. So I think the whole thing takes about one minute and 30 odd seconds. Um, you know when it's over because I've arranged for Pi sound for the Pi sound to run some code in Sonic Pi, which will produce a beep so that you know that, si that Sonic Pi is active. So that's about 30 seconds. And we'll just keep on uh, twiddling your thumbs or something while we wait. Uh, when that process is complete, we will start the um, access point running by pressing the button on the Pi sound three times. And at that stage, I will check with the iPad that the, uh, it's running by just looking to see whether I can see the um, uh, SSID of the access point. And then we will plug in the second Pi and get that booting and picking up its IP from the access point. So we've probably got about uh, 20 seconds to go and that will complete the, the booting. You listen hopefully we'll hear the sound from the there we go so we'll stop that running and that we now have a working uh, sonic pi on pi sound but at the moment it's not working as an access point we need to turn that on and to do that i'm just going to change this to be looking at um, wi-fi and uh, there's quite a few networks down there i don't know if that's going to focus uh, very well let's see there we are that's better and I'm going to press this button three times. Here we go. One, two, three. And there's a bleep from the there and the access pipe will start up and we should see it appearing. It's called Pi Sound on the choice of, there it goes, Pi Sound has appeared here. So we've now got an access point running there and we move on to the second part of the startup and I'll put this back onto the um, screen. We'll reset that and we're going to plug in the second Pi, which is a Pi 2. Uh, it doesn't start particularly fast and um, when it's started it will automatically run the um, OSC server which is going to pick up the commands coming from Sonic Pi and in the process it will switch on and off um, a white LED which will be very obvious and that will tell us that it has actually connected. So let's plug it in here. There we go, start that running. And again, it takes just under a minute and a half, I think, to, uh, to do that, around about that sort of time. So we've got another wait um, while that is happening. The Pi sound, by the way, we'll perhaps talk about that while this is running. Uh, it's a very nice little module. Uh, you don't have to have the box, it is just a plug-in board, but the box is an extra. And it has a, um, it's a very nice audio card, stereo audio out, and it's got a, two, a stereo input as well, which can be fed in. It's also got at this end a MIDI in and a MIDI out using the standard five pin DIN plugs, which are used in MIDI equipment. Though um, you've got the USB connections for the um, Pi 3 at the other end, and you can use that to um, plug in USB devices, maybe a USB MIDI keyboard or something like that. And so it's a very nice little bit of kit. It's also, normally when you get it, it's configured so that the button will start up um, processing so that you can, sorry, pure, so that you can, um, uh, there's the white LED. So we can see that that's now actually started up, which means that that's uh, connected to the Pi sound. And now we're back where we started. And if I was to press the button, the single button here, we will start by playing the same uh, piece that we heard previously. So let's keep our fingers crossed and press it and see what happens. There we go. Sonic Pi started up. So all totally automatic. And we'll stop it by pressing the button twice. It stops the program going and uh, it then clears the LEDs. And then we'll shut everything down as before. I press uh, the button for a, a, a reasonable time, let go. You'll see the LED flash on the Pi 2, showing that that's received the shutdown signal and it will shut down and the Wi-Fi light will stop blinking. 
and then this will have some activity down here before the Pi sound switches off too. So let's hold that down, let go. There's the flash from the Pi 2, it's starting to shut down. And in a minute, yes, the Wi-Fi light has stopped blinking. And this has got some activity here as this shuts down. When that goes steady, that's uh, not quite steady yet there. That's the end of the activity. So that shut down, that shut down. We can remove the power from there and we can go around and remove the power from here. And that's everything powered down. So let's reset that and stop the video. Thank you very much for watching.